Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the iOS dev channel, Max Codes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to simply install Xcode 11 beta on macOS Mojave. Now it's super simple, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. See you in just a second. All right, so let's jump into getting that beta download for Xcode 11. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know or if you're an iOS developer, you probably already know that you're gonna need a developer, an Apple developer account that costs you $100 a year. This is charged to you by Apple for a couple of reasons. One, they obviously want to make more money. There's so many devs, I think the total of what they make off of the developer accounts per year is like $2 billion or something. But anyway, that, that's not their only reason, okay? A, there's a huge reason you actually have to pay this $100 and it's for investment reasons, right? They only want apps to come on the store that have been built by people that have really invested a little bit of money and a lot of time into developing the app because they don't want a ton of crappy apps on the app store for not reasons of their own, right? They want it so that one, obviously they want the app store to be clean, but two, so that your apps can get more light, right? They want the good apps, the people have put investment in, they want those apps to shine and that is what they're gonna do for you. Okay, so you're gonna need an Apple developer account to download Xcode 11. Let's go ahead and get into downloading it though, okay? So I'm gonna right click on downloads and hit open link a new tab and you'll see that it opens up developer.apple.com slash download, which is pretty obvious. Uh, how to get there, just go ahead and type that in. Link is also in the description and you're gonna have it in the applications tab here. You'll see that you have Xcode 11 beta. Now, all you have to do is hit download and then you just wait about eight gigabytes of download time and you can then start using Swift UI, which I'm using right here today. And if you're interested in using Swift UI or what Swift UI is, I've actually made a couple of videos yesterday on how to use it and what it is. So go ahead and check out my channel videos on Swift UI. If you're interested in those, I show you all about Swift UI and this 30 minute tutorial will show you how to use it really well. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about Xcode 11 beta because you're gonna get a little bit more if you're running on macOS Catalina. Okay, now the reason is because Swift UI was just announced, right? So I'm gonna click on Swift here and let's go to Swift UI. Let's see where this is. Click on Apple Developer and see if it's on the homepage menu. Okay, it's right here. Okay, so essentially you'll see this little tab on the right, okay? And that's the live preview, the canvas, that actually compiles as you're writing code, similar to what would happen if you were using Webpack with React or something in a web app. Okay, now if you're not running Catalina and you download the Xcode 11 beta just on, just on uh, Mojave, the version I'm running it on, you're not gonna get that, but it's still really simple. All you have to do is compile it and it will go to your simulator like normal, okay? Now, if you want this, then you're just gonna want to download Catalina and then you should be good, okay? Now, you have access to all of this with your developer account and that's all you need to get these downloads just on developer.apple.com slash download. You hit download and then on applications in Xcode 11, and then you have access to it, all right? You drag it to your applications folder and you're good to go. Okay, so I hope that helps some of you out. Just wanted to make a quick video for some of you who are wondering how to get that. I know a lot of you might not like this video, but I thought I'd put it out for those of you who needed it, regardless of how many dislikes I get. So if you're wanting to support, please leave a like and subscribe. I know this video might get a lot of downlikes, so please leave a like and uh, I'll see you guys in the next Swift UI videos I make. See you in just a second.